Hi everybody, my name is Michelle. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. The cookbook that we're gonna look at today is Betty Crocker's Picture Cookbook. I have the ring binder book. You can also get the hardcover book. The one that I have is two and a quarter inches thick at the biggest part. As you know, a ring binder goes down from thick to thin. It's 10 inches high and it's nine and a quarter inches wide. It was copyrighted in 1950 and the facsimile edition, which is what I have, was done in 1998. There's 450 pages in this and the recipe we're going to make today is on page 205. I love this book. I really can't say enough good things about it. If you're someone that is into homemaking and all things that go with that, I think it's a great book. It's got pictures in it, picture book, right? But it has very good explanations on how to basically do all things baking and cooking and it gives you photographs of instructions as you go along with certain recipes. It's got a lot of great information in it. So the recipe that we're gonna to make today is thumbprint cookies. So let's get at the recipe. I'm actually doubling this recipe. So bear with me and we'll go through it. In this bowl, I have one cup of shortening. The re original recipe calls for half a cup. So remember I'm doubling. I have a half a cup of brown sugar, two egg yolks, one broke on me, perfectly fine. And it's one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna put that all right in there. So my oven right now is preheating to 350 degrees. switch out for just a second and here's two cups of flour and a half teaspoon of salt combine them my parchment lined cookie sheet my scoop here my oven just came to temperature. So I'm just going to do them that way until I get the pan filled and then there's another step. So that's going to be the first dozen. Now this is the step that we found interesting. All right, I'm just going to roll them a little bit. This is egg whites, and it said slightly beaten egg whites. So, it's a little, uh, I guess I didn't even properly roll that one, did I? But it's not gonna hurt nothing. Okay, to wash my hands into my 350 degree oven for six minutes. And then I'll show you what, a, well, we're gonna then make our thumbprint and put some jam on them. So stay tuned for that. Okay, here's my cookies after six minutes in a 350 degree oven. I'm just taking this little measuring spoon instead of my thumb. I'm gonna make a nice dent. I'm gonna make a indentation in each one. Now I got some strawberry jam here and I put it in a bowl because it's easier to work with than scooping it out of the bottle each time. Super easy. I'll show you when these come out of the oven for the final time. Okay, so this is a dozen that have come out of the oven. I still have this much more that I'm going to make, but it's a bit redundant maybe. So I might just end my part of it here, but you can see the egg wash 
makes them nice and shiny. Michelle and I both questioned this at first, but we decided we would do it. And it provides a nice, just a minuscule little crisp on the outside of the cookie. Okay, everybody. As you can see, here's the finished product, which is the thumbprint cookie. This was a weird surprise. As Kevin was saying, we did not know what to think about dipping it in the egg white. Kind of knew what the end result was going to be, that it was going to have like a crisp coating on it. Did not expect it to be as delicious as it was. These cookies literally are fantastic. They have just the slightest crisp on the outside from that egg white and the jam obviously gives it a nice touch they're a nice sweet cookie not overly sweet i really like them they are a little bit crumbly which i'm not used to because i have a thumbprint cookie that holds up a little bit better than this but i wasn't put off by it so all in all i would definitely make this recipe again and as weird as the egg wash was i would do it again so i think this is a win absolutely like this definitely going to do it again. I hope that if you're not subscribed, you would consider subscribing, clicking the like button and the notification bell so that you know when we put another video up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back and see us again in another video and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.